Hi, this is Dr. Monroe, and I'm back with your weekly chiropractic health and wellness update. This week, we're continuing our series on breast cancer prevention, with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We found an article on our doctor's resource page from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, where it talks about the relationship between if you are a postmenopausal woman and you decrease the amount of carbohydrates you consume, you can actually decrease the risk of developing breast cancer. Now look, carbohydrates are a major source of energy for, the, for, for us humans, um, but unfortunately we tend to eat too many carbohydrates, and on top of that, too many of them are processed, and that tends, to, and basically what that means is all the, all the vital nutrients are stripped out and all the fiber stripped out, so basically it leaves, uh, makes it for easily absorbable starches and sugars, which plays a major role on your blood sugar levels. Now, unfortunately, fluctuating blood sugar levels has an effect on insulin hormones as well as cortisol hormones. And now, even though these two hormones actually have a, a tremendous benefit and serve a great purpose for the body, uh, fluctuations in those levels or high levels of those are actually inflammatory. And one of the things you don't want to have is a lot of inflammation in your body uh, while you're trying to be a healthy person or even trying to fight off any breast cancer or any other chronic disease. You want to keep inflammation as low as possible. You know, Dr. Oz even stated once that a lot of inflammation and fluctuating blood sugars and high insulin levels is like glass floating, floating through your uh, uh, blood vessels. So you really don't want to have any of that. So here's what they did in the study. They looked at over 334,000 women between the ages of 34 and 66. And they looked at their carbohydrate consumption, their glycemic load, and their glycemic index. And, after, and they followed them for 12 years. And during that 12-year period, they found out that over 11,000 women developed invasive breast cancer. And amongst that group, the postmenopausal women who had diets high in carbohydrates had an increased risk of developing breast cancer, where those with a, a lower carbohydrate diet had a decreased risk. Now, this also showed that there was an increased risk of uh, estrogen-driven tumors if you have ate a high-carbohydrate diet. So there's two reasons right there that to decrease your risk of uh, decrease uh, uh, the amount of carbohydrates you eat. You know you're keeping your blood sugar levels down, you're keeping your cortisol levels down, uh, you're keeping inflammation down, and you're not triggering those estrogen-driven tumors, which are very common in breast cancer patients. So you know what do you, what do you, and now here's one thing they did say. They didn't say that, uh, this, that there was a correlation between carbohydrates and uh, younger or premenopausal women. But, you know, I, I tell you, I advise my patients to keep those carbohydrates low. Because I just have a feeling that if, 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 if there's a negative effect, if you're postmenopausal, I really believe in the long run there's a negative effect if you're uh, premenopausal. You need to keep blood sugar levels down, insulin levels down, and inflammation down. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a link to that article right below this uh, video so you can go check it out and get a little bit more information. But uh, I'd also like to remind you of our breast cancer prevention class. We're going to be covering this topic and many others uh, on October 15th at the Mustard Seed Cafe. Now, all you need to do to come to class is to call the office at 879-5070 uh, to reserve your seat. So, uh, you know, this is great information. I'd love to see you there. Pass it along to a friend. You don't have to be a patient to attend this class. Just call the office to reserve your seat. I look forward to seeing you next week when we'll spend a little time together talking about another article as it relates to breast cancer prevention. I look forward to spending that time with you, and I, I, I hope to see you at the class. Thank you.